Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sahil Mahajan. And in this video, we're going to have a demo related to FSX for Lustre. This is the one where if you have any compute intensive workloads that require a file system, this is the file system that you guys would create. So as you guys can see, I am on the AWS console. We're going to head up to FSX and we're gonna click on the top right that says create a file system. Now, again, we're gonna be having four options over here. We're gonna choose the last option because that's what we wanna go with. And let's click on next. Now, this is going to give you your file system details. You can basically give a name over here. I'm gonna give my uh, Luster file system. And again, you can choose your deployment and storage type. Do you want to be persistent with SSD? Do you want persistent with HDD? Or do you want a scratch SSD? Again, I am going to stick with persistent SSD. What do you want your throughput to be? I'm going to stick with the bare minimum that is 125. And again, just how we saw for the Windows file system, you have to define a storage capacity over here. And the the storage capacity that you can provide is 1.2 terabytes and it supports an increments of 2.4 terabytes. And that's your throughput capacity. What is your meta metadata configuration? Do you want it to be automatic or you want it to be user uh, provision? I would say automatic is the best way to go. So we'll leave it as automatic. We're gonna leave our data compression type as none. And this is the Lustre version that we are gonna stick to. And again, these are your network and security related um, you know, things. Um, I'm gonna stick with our uh, default VPC and our default subnets that we have. Now for your encryption, of course, you have multiple ways you can encrypt. One is you can use the, the default FSX AWS KMS key, or you can enter your own KMS key ARN. And you do have multiple different options related to import, export, login. If there are any login that you would like to do, you can do that to CloudWatch, any backup and maintenance related, root squash, or and finally, of course, your tags. So gonna quickly go ahead and click on next. And here you're gonna review and create your um, uh, specified file system. So it shows you what it what options are basically editable after creation. So the ones that are ticked are basically things that you can modify or you can edit after your file system has been created. And the ones that have been crossed out cannot be modified or edited. So you can view all your settings. If you're happy with everything, you can go ahead and click on create file system. Again, guys, please make sure that when um, you will be charged for creating a, a Luster file system. So uh, if you guys do not want to be charged, then please do not create a file system. And you can guys can just uh, look through this video and you know you can save your money over there. But if you guys do want to create a file system for projects or something like that, please do go ahead. As you guys can see, I am creating this file system just to give you guys an overview and an idea related to it. You can see that we are creating the file system over here. That is my Luster file system. And if you quickly do refresh, you can see that we got our file system ID. The status is still, um, it's being created and you can view our deployment type and all such details. Let's quickly head inside of the file system just to view the summary of the file system. As you guys can see, these are all of the different, um, you know, options that we have over here and we did see um, that you know a few properties are editable after the file system is created and a few properties are not as you can see the properties that have the update button are basically editable and can be changed and you can see that our um, luster file system has been deployed in us east 1f and if you guys scroll down, you can view the other settings related to networking, monitoring, administration, data repository, backup updates, and all of that good stuff. And if you guys quickly want to attach your, uh, what you say, um, file system, you can attach your file system. Amazon does provide you the uh, instructions on how you can attach your file system, be it you're attaching it to EC2 instances or maybe to uh, Kubernetes, that is EKS. So we're gonna click go ahead and close that and let's see if our file system has been created. Okay, our file system is being created. Again, this creation will take quite a lot of time. So that's about there. And again, you can click on this action tabs and you will be able to view all of the different actions. Again, these are currently unavailable because we are currently creating our 
uh, file system. You can, of course, also go ahead and delete a file system. Now it will ask you to type in the file system ID and now it is quite long. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that right over here and click on delete file system. And as you guys can see that our status has now been moved to deleting. So this is how you can create a Lustre file system on the AWS console and how can you attach it to your EC2 instances or maybe your EKS cluster. So I hope you guys did like this demo related to Lustre. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, do subscribe and do comment if there are any other topics out there that you guys would like me to cover. I hope you guys have a great day ahead. See ya. Take care. Bye-bye.